G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today I have a vlog for you. I've got my trusty notepad here. I don't know how long it could go for. It could go for 10 minutes once again, could go for 45. I have no idea. The, the topic of today's vlog and the information I wanted to share with you was based on a lot of my experiences out there monster hunting on dating apps after divorce. So the topic today is, these are the key things that really got me from being still somewhat plugged in um, to the sort of programming that we have about women in society, you know, they're angelic, can do no wrong, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera to where um, I am now, which is essentially have a channel telling you guys what really goes on out there based on a lot of experience, okay? So monster hunting, what is it? Guys, I'll, I'll quickly recap. So monster hunting is just womanizing, just really indiscriminate womanizing uh, using dating apps, okay? Now there is standards here, but a lot of the time they can be uh, lowered uh, if you're having a dry patch, etc. And I've talked about this extensively in the past. What is a monster itself? A monster isn't just a word for any woman, okay? There are some uh, normal, well put together women out there is in their 30s looking for relationships, etc. But there are a lot of monsters, okay? And what's a monster? I think every man's description, every womanizer, every guy who can live this lifestyle, his description is going to be somewhat different, okay? For me, a monster is a girl that is on the outside. Uh, she's prim, uh, she's proper, um, well put together, but on the inside, there is a demon in there. Like, there's a bad, bad woman in the bedroom. So that's that for me is what I'm on, up for anything, okay? And believe it or not, guys, there are a lot of them out there, okay? So that's monster hunting for me. And guys who womanize, etc., you get a really good sixth sense for how to sniff them out and identify the ones and get a bit of a vibe for if a woman you're dealing with is a monster, okay? So guys, put in the comments if you uh, agree with that. But that's that's sort of the, the background as to monster hunting. Now, there are... Probably five or six key things. I was just sitting down and, and, and I was just thinking about it in my experience in life uh, with women um, that have really come to light, especially in about a five or six year period of just running amok uh, post-divorce, okay? People say to me, or, or they discount a lot of the things that I have to say is because I'm an angry man um, who is bitter or whatever because uh, his wife divorced him or left him, etc. And then had to go through a painful divorce. So, no, that uh, that absolutely uh, isn't it. I mean, that was a huge punch in the guts. Um, and absolutely, there are learnings out of that. The things that I talk about and my mindset, um, this literally has been developed and... I guess, molded by many, many experiences, some before marriage, but a lot after after marriage. And I did put the dots together on a lot of my experiences as a younger man and go, well, hang on, this is what happened, etc. Okay, But as a man with a little bit more experience, um, with a little bit more critical thinking skills, uh, who can think with the big head and not the little head, there are lots of things to learn. So on the divorce point, no, that isn't what you know, got me to where I am. It was a, maybe a starting point, but really there are a lot of things that I experienced that I think a lot of you guys at home uh, could resonate with. So I'm just gonna jump straight into them, okay? So I've got my notepad here, guys, so bear with me as I, as I collect my thoughts. Okay, so the first one for me, and this is a really big one, and I think this is a really pivotal point for a lot of men. Um, it's, just, it's, it's more or less almost world-breaking, um, a world-breaking finding and realization about women. And that is women re re rewrite and reshape their history uh, to make them feel better uh, about the things that they have done or how they've come to be in the positions they are in their life, okay? There are many women that I went out with, um, and I'll give you, I'll give you a, an example here. So I had just um, gotten separated uh, from my ex, Okay, she moved out, etc. And it was a couple of months after, um, so dust had set a little bit, and I started uh, going on dating apps and all that sort of stuff. Okay, and I caught up with this one woman, and the first thing she jumped straight into, guys. So I went from zero. I went from being married to straight out there. Okay, and yes, I had 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 had, had a past, but I was very rusty. Okay, very rusty. So I met up with this one woman, and all she did the whole time um, that we caught up was convince me, try to convince me more or less that she was on the dating apps because 
Um, she'd been uh, married before, but the guy that she was married to was, um, uh, you know, had mental health issues. Uh, he, um, he was a drinker and he was abusive in a variety of different ways. She wasn't talking about physical, but she was talking about controlling. You'll hear this stuff a lot when you're out there, guys, and these stories do sound very similar, all right? And I was like, wow, that's horrible because I hadn't heard this stuff. I hadn't dated at this age range. So I hadn't heard this stuff, women talking like that. I thought, yeah, that's really horrible. That guy must have been a real piece of work, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, that really didn't go anywhere. I caught up with another girl not too long after. The exact same things were starting to be said to me on a very regular basis. There was no accountability. I never had a woman say to me, I'm on this dating app, I'm 35, I'm 36, I'm 31, divorced, um, and I'm here because of X reasons and things that I did. There was never any of that, okay? There was always, they're always a victim of the world and a victim of the men that they're with because they need to control the narrative, okay? And lock in another guy. They're very smart. They're very smart with the marketing. Women are master marketers, and regardless of what they say about, and this is going off the tangent a little bit, you know, about they don't care, they can be like men and have big body counts and all things like that. They hide that extensively through nature. They naturally would never tell you really what they get up to, okay? Why do you think they do that? Because they know what men like and they're very good at marketing themselves. So I got to a point where I would just disregard more or less everything a woman would say to me and I'll form my own opinion based on the experiences and how they're acting. So that's probably a tip for you guys out there. You're going to hear a lot of this stuff, okay? They're all victims, blah, blah, blah. Assume they are lying to you until proven otherwise. Yes, some of these stories um, could be true. And you have really no way of validating them. But you start if, once you start to get to know some of these women, they're real basket cases, okay? And you can work out pretty much that it probably wasn't the guy that was at fault most of the time. All right. So one last point I'll add on that is they generally have the same script. They say all the same things. So if you're someone who goes on a high volume of dates, um, can go out with many different women um, within a certain age bracket, you'll just realize that they're, work, that they're operating on the same software. Okay, The body is a little bit different, but generally the things that they say, they want, the excuses they make, uh, the, it's all the same. Okay, And it really starts to make you feel like you're living in a different dimension. Okay. Like you're living in some sort of simulation because they're saying all the same shit. You can almost, pre you can just basically predict what they're going to say. Number two, okay. This was probably the biggest one for me. The biggest one for me because I hadn't seen this side of women. There is, they are cold and ruthless, majority of them, okay. There is, no, I say this in all my videos because this happened to me many times and it was a good learning experience and I didn't care at this time. But once a woman has made up their mind on you, has made a decision on you that either they're not going to get a baby with you or they're not going to get a, a commitment or whatever it is that they're looking for, generally it's those two sort of things in the age bracket that I was dating. They're all, they're all trying to date on fast forward. You're cut. You're blocked. You're deleted. All right. They get any sort of hint that you're not that option. You're gone. Okay. And that was something that I kind of grappled with because it's not nice being on the other hand of that, but it started happening a lot because they, women go through a lot of volume. I'm going to get onto this, okay? But women go through a lot of volume. They date a lot of men and they're trying to work out pretty quickly because they, like, I'll, I'll get to this point later, but they're the original monster hunters. They know how to multi date, they know what they're looking for, they know how to identify a mark, so to speak, with to try and get the things that they want out of men at a particular age to get off the dating apps. Nothing colder, especially when they talk about their ex uh, husbands. Um, or ex-boyfriends or whatever it may be, guys that <clears throat> would have sacrificed so much to be with them and they are just bagging the shit out of them and talking about them like they, um, you know, they're horrible monsters, um, they could do nothing right um, and they, the woman got nothing out of it. Right? And they just really market these guys to be horrible people. And that was something that was huge uh, for me because that was something that was very, very common and happened a lot. Okay. Another thing that happened in, in, on, on this point is... Women multi-dating, okay? Women, guys don't want to believe that this shit happens. Women, they are the biggest... I was going to say, basically womanizers, right? but, the, but the female version, they're just man-eaters, okay? A lot of guys don't see this because they don't do the volume or they're not able to live the life that I've lived. 
and I can tell you now, I was that guy. I was the emergency, you know, um, the phone call when they were horny, okay? They could ring me up. I was that guy. That was the role that I was playing, and I was very happy to do that and took full advantage of it. But I would literally be called up after they've been on dates, okay, with a guy. A guy's probably taken them out. Um, he's dressed up. She's dressed up. He thinks he's getting a good deal. Uh, he's excited about it. He's probably gone home, and he's like, wow, that was a good date, or he's looking forward to seeing her again. They call me because they're not giving these guys action because they're trying to lock the guy in. They're trying to market themselves as being, you know, um, chaste, uh, angelic, proper. They call me up. I go over there and just dig him out, okay? And then we laugh about it. Right, she's telling me all these things about her dating life. Oh, yeah, there's this one guy that you know I like, but you know I'm just trying to work him out. And, and it's so matter of fact, but I'm there. I'm just had sex with her. And that guy's putting in all this effort. He'd probably get nothing, okay? So that was something that put chills down my spine. So there's a point here, and I know this, um, this one here will ruffle a few feathers. Whenever I talk about this, uh, guys don't like it, and understandably so. Most, like I'm not going to say most, a lot of women, more than what you would ever believe um, on the dating apps, either married or have boyfriends, okay? Women are master cheaters. Women are very sneaky, they're very smart, and they can really get away with things because they need to be deceptive by nature to survive, okay? And so when it comes to the dating apps, now people, and I've said this, right, I admit it, I've slept with married women. Now, I've had a few comments um, and, and stuff in, in on a variety of my videos that I've made where I've admitted to this. Guys, I'm not hunting down married women. Like, that's the last thing that I would want to do, okay? They don't tell you they are married, okay? And you don't really realize it until after the fact. They lie to you, uh, they'll meet you somewhere random uh, for a quick action, etc., etc. You start putting things together or they'll admit it, Okay. But a lot of women are married or in long-term relationships and they're just as bad as men, okay? They're bored of the guy they're with. You know, he's not banging her anymore the way that he used to or he can't meet her knees or she's a bit kinky and he doesn't do things, whatever it may be. They're out there to get the itch scratch too, just as bad as men, okay? Now, that was one of the real big ones that gives me shivers down my spine. I've got this one example where... This was like a real revelation for me. This was just a little bit after I was uh, separated. Just a few months, I met this girl on, it was Bumble. Um, long story short, got chatting. Uh, I arranged to go over to her place one day. It was during the week, okay? And I had a day off. And we'd organize, I'd come around and, you know, just get it on, right? There was, there was, no, there was no real, you know, she's looking for a boyfriend or anything. We all knew what it was. She was a monster. No worries, that's great. I, I think that's good. If people want to do that, go for it. So I get into the house. And I start saying, uh, it looks really dodgy. Like she had like photos turned down, face down. Like so obviously they've got family photos and stuff like that up on the mantelpiece. Turned down. I'm like, uh, well, I'm here now. So I'm just going to fucking go through with it. But my gut was telling me, yeah, there's something going on here. Boyfriend, husband, whatever. She led me into this like spare room. She had a system. Okay. She led me into this spare room. And um, yeah, things happened in there. We we're not going to go into detail. Um, as soon as it happened, like literally as soon as we'd done the job, she more or less shuffled me out of the house. She had a system, like, get out within 30 seconds, more or less. She started getting dressed, told me to get dressed, get out, okay? And she started making the bed, and she had this full system. It was like a it was like a little office, and it had, like, a spare bed, and she had the sheet done in a certain way. She just picked the sheet up and throw it straight in the wash. She was going to put it straight in the washing machine. She was going to vacuum the floor to make sure my hairs weren't there, whatever. She had a system. And I asked her, I said, oh, okay, I'm not going to judge you, but... I'm a very curious person. I want to learn about what goes on out there. And so I asked her, and she was quite frank about it. And she said, yeah, she does this many times. Like she's done it many times and very frequently. So she has a husband. He worked in IT. He was a bit of a geeky guy. He wasn't piping her down the way she wanted. He was living in a plugged-in world. He worked hard. And she worked um, as a nurse, and she had a certain roster where she was at home uh, days off during the week uh, when he was at work. So she took a full advantage of that to get piped out. Now, he would. Probably, this is probably still happening uh, this is many years on, like six or seven years later. I reckon this is still happening. She's still doing it. He doesn't know just how many guys are going through his wife, okay? And he's probably getting the shittest action, but he thinks he's won something because she, she was quite pretty, all right? So there's that one. Women are sneaky. Women will lie. Women will put men in situations, especially like that. People go to me, oh, you were the married guy. I didn't know, and I wouldn't have done it. Um, otherwise, I don't want some guy knocking on my door. I open the door, boom, you know, because, you know, men get very upset and white knight and don't look about what actually happened when something bad like that happens. And it goes to the point of women lying, 
Okay, they'll put you in a very bad situation. They'll spin that right around. You're the bad guy. You hunted her down. You took full advantage of her. And they'll prey on the um, the uninitiated mind of men that are inexperienced of women. And that's how you hear about these guys deleting dudes that have had affairs with their wives. But really, it's the wife's fault. They've initiated the whole thing. All right. So the narrative around sex for me, uh, this is another point. It's backwards, okay? So as men, we're taught that women are all all spies, they're sugar spies, all things nice, men are dirty dogs, men will root anything, et cetera, et cetera. That's true, okay? Guys will do that. Women do do that, but not with the majority uh, of men. So I've had guys say to me, no, women don't womanize or they don't pump and dump. When I say womanize, I'm just trying to say they're not, what's the man eating? I don't know what you want to call it, Okay. They're just as bad, all right? But they just have way more options and I'll never tell you about it. It's like someone who's trying to quit smoking and they're sneaking ciggies and they're never going to tell anyone they've had a smoke, okay? They're not going to itch to scratch, okay? Nothing wrong with that, but they do it in secret. And that's why I call them like, they're like possums down at the cricket ground, right? In the bushes. They're doing all this stuff like cats. You know, you hear them making these noises in the night. That's what they're out there doing that. And that's why I make the joke about the cricket ground and the cricket pavilion, because that's a very true thing. You meet people in public places and just bam, it's on, okay? But it's it's backwards. They um, are constantly multi-dating, okay? They're constantly sleeping. Okay, I'm not all, okay? Not absolutes here, but a lot of them on the dating apps, the ones that I'm talking about, all right, that are going on a lot of dates, they're all multi-dating. Got so many guys talking to them. They're fielding options. Uh, they're out sleeping with many different men, dates with different different men. They bucket them like we do, okay? They get the, uh, people say, oh, Chad, Chad, uh, he, he can have any woman and marry any woman he wants. Nah, not really. Look, the reality of that is, most women uh, will be able to sniff out a guy like that, like a Brycey. Right, I've been on the other end of this. They know you look good, you're fun, you're sexy, uh, you're funny. They have a great time with you, but you're not, you're not serious, right? So they have guys like like me and other men that do this sort of thing. They'll pump and dump us, okay? This happened heaps of times. Like you go, you go and bang them um, or whatever. Go do the job, and they've blocked and deleted you straight away, okay? Because either they've probably either got a boyfriend. Or they've just got other guys. They got what they wanted out of it. They know it's not going anywhere. You're gone. All right. So I'll get on to... This is another big point for me. You hear about this stuff, okay? You hear it around in a sort of manosphere type content. Women hunt men. Now, this was something that I really didn't have a grasp of until I retrospectively looked at my life as well. Guys, you are the ones being hunted. You, it's a great illusion that we're the ones out there hunting women down, um, doing all the right things, you know, charming them, wooing them, pulling all the moves. No, a woman is letting you do these things, okay? They're letting you progress through different stage gates. And yes, men do um, generally control the commitment. I'm not going to get onto that topic, but for you to get to the point where you want to make a commitment, they're controlling that whole narrative. They're controlling everything there. Things are happening because they're letting them happen. It's not you, okay? Women will hunt men generally. I, and it, it, this is a really interesting thing that I found and it really blew my mind. Yes, they, this does happen. I've had it with quite a number of times, sort of women around my age bracket at the time, anywhere from like, 31 maybe to 36 they're red hot a lot of the time to quickly quickly meet a man on the dating apps and get him off the dating apps and get a, some sort of commitment out of him all right then you know babies etc like i'm talking a few months here I, I, they are the perfect being uh, they're the best girl you've ever met it's full-on actress mode on and if you're not aware of that a lot of guys get sucked in okay they're hunting you they you are the mark all right, that's what I'm trying to say here. And I was very wise to this and I could see these things happening and so I would avoid it and I'd be the guy, like they'll, they'll, they'll go maybe a month, two months, they'll hit me up with the uh, commitment thing. They're trying to find out if I want to get married. Uh, they're trying to find out if I want to have a baby. They'll straight up ask me, do you, th do you see yourself having a baby with me, etc." I was going out. I was going out or seeing one particular woman, a very, very attractive woman, but a real femme fatale and I could just work it out by hanging out with her. I was like, probably about a month in, and she wrote me this huge, long message, okay, um, about asking me, uh, more or less putting it to me, will I give her a baby? She was telling me she loved me, and she wanted to procreate and enjoy this life with me. Just she didn't know me from a bar of soap. I barely tell these women anything on dating apps, okay? I, I don't tell them anything about me, 
And so she didn't know anything about me. She just knew what I let her know. And she's trying to make a lifetime decision to have a baby and lock me down. So what I learned about being, um, look guys, you've seen the movie and it's quite good. You should watch it. It's called Good Luck Chuck. That was more or less me. Okay. So I'm the guy, they go with me. They realize I'm difficult. I'm hard to lock down. I'm disagreeable, um, emotionally unavailable, whatever they want to say. I'm the guy generally they go, no, he was too much difficult. He's too difficult to deal with. I invested time. Okay. That's what the women will say. I wasted my time. They wasted the time with me and they go for another guy who is like a bit of a low hanging fruit. And this is a real eye opener to me. So I'm going out with these women doing all sorts of things, you know, just the most debaucherous, just like hedonistic sex. Like, I'm not going to get the detail on here, guys. Just, you get the picture. Anything was happening here. And I'd have them on Facebook. I had Facebook at the time or Instagram or whatever. And I'm like, literally a year later, this happened on more than one occasion. You see they've got a baby and they've got some guy standing there and he thinks he's won the lottery. He doesn't know what, what a lot of other guys have been using her as a fleshlight, but he's there and he thinks he's won. They've got some idiot and there's so many of them out there to commit to her by through the act. And he's going to find out the hard way. It's probably uh, what he's bought there isn't what he uh, is going to get. So for me, that was really interesting that they'll make huge lifetime commitments with you call them almost strangers. How can you really know someone within a couple of months to make a decision like that? They're all for it. They just want to get off. It's emotional. They don't care. They want a baby. Um, they want to get married. They don't want to be going to Christmas anymore uh, without a partner, whatever it is. Okay, like women are incredibly immature and they don't think long term a lot of the time um, with the guys that they meet. That's why there's a lot of single mums out there. So my finishing point here, and I'll make, and I'm going to keep it pretty short, this one. On the dating apps, guys, I, and I've made this point in several other videos, most of them are there for a reason. And the guys as well. Like I was a separated guy, divorced guy, thrown back in the pool, pretty emotionally damaged, to be frank. Yeah, went through a hard time. So I'm there for a reason too. So I'm not thinking I'm the best and uh, I'm perfect and they're all trash. I would say not between 95% to 99% of the women on there Recreational use only. Yeah. Pre proceed further at your own risk and at great risk to your own life uh, and future. Okay. If I really look back, and guys, I'm talking hundreds here uh, of women that I was with um, physically, there's probably two or three, and I've said this a few times, two or three where I'm like, yeah, I probably fucked up a bit there, like acting with not great intentions or whatever, and she could have been really great for me. Okay, if I was to want to do that and, and try again, definitely wasn't in the mind spot, in mindset for that. But if I look back, I'm like, yeah, I probably fucked up there. Like, she was really good. Okay, and I've and I've acted not right and fucked it up. So that's it, guys. So there's some of my learnings. There are a lot of the things that got me to where I am now. I've kept it pretty high level. Otherwise, I'll sit here and this will be like Encyclopedia Britannica. Okay, like I, I could go on about this. I could probably make 100 videos on it. So if you guys want more videos, more vlogs about my experiences, guys, I don't censor anything. I'll tell you everything. I have nothing to gain. Like people are going, oh, it's bullshit. You didn't do that or whatever, guys. I've got nothing to gain by sitting here with my face on camera and, and telling you everything that happens and the things that I learn. Okay, I do it so younger men can learn and other guys can maybe get some entertainment value out of it. All right, guys, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.